Hello vlog people! Here's another how-to video. First you need a bozal and then you need a makate. And for the makate it can be horsehair or it could be like nylon. It could kind of be whatever you want it to be. It just needs to be long enough that you can work with it and whatever thickness you like. This is the same material used as like your lead ropes. And it's a little bit thicker, and that's what I prefer. I got it at Roll King. So they had a bunch of different colors there. They also had a couple different, like, styles that I could use for reins. I just went to the rope section. But I had 22 feet of this rope. So it gets to be a tangled mess. So just be ready for that. But... I'm going to show you how to tie your makate to your bozal. And as last time, I'm, well, this is the last time I'm going to say bozal because around here we just call it a basel. No matter how incorrect that probably is, this is what we do. So, are you ready, party people, to learn? Because I just learned. Okie dokie. So, tie the knot at the end. Bam. And so you don't want to mess this up. You go from the nose, through the front of the nose to the jaw. I'm going to leave a little bit of room. This is like your Fiodora. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. Okay. Bam. See? To your jaw. That's a little fancy knot at the end, at the bottom of it. it doesn't actually do anything. It's just kind of fancy. So you take your long piece of rain rope. Makate, and you wrap it below and above your little excess piece, your little Fiodora, right? I don't know. And then you wrap around as many times as you need to because it needs to fit to your horse's face. And then you take your excess, it's all knotted up, all like 22 feet of it, and you pull it from the front to the back. And a knot, all the knots that are in it. And keep a knotting it. Okay. So then that helps you create your reins. You just loop it through and you can make your reins whatever length you want. I do prefer a little bit of a longer rein because I got long neck torses. Hey, look, I'm confused. Okay, so, and then you want to separate them. You want to make sure it's not twisted because it's, it's going to be forever twisted until you untwist it, which means you have to take most of it apart. So, I made mine about arm's length, and I have obnoxiously long arms, so whatever length you'd like. And then you'll loop it from the back to the front. Well, I guess I'm going to do it again. Hold on. I wanted longer reins. I thought I did. Okay, actually... Okay, so you're going to take your excess piece, which would be your tie rope, and it goes over top of the reins to help lock them into place. And then you flip over your reins over top of the nose band. Okay. And what you do is you take your tie rope, and you're going to put it between your reins, underneath the loop you just made, and out the front. You see? Between, between your reins and above your old knots and below the brand new one. And you want to make sure everything's not twisted and not caught up. Okay. And then you pull it tight. And this helps to knot your reins so they're not going to move. And, oh. There you go. So then your tie rope comes out the front and you got your reins. Guys, you never know how stupid you look until you video yourself. Like, this is all genuine. I wasn't even trying to goof off. That was just me trying to figure out how to do this thing. Okay. I don't know if I mentioned it before. I'm a little bit sick, so I apologize for all the sniffling. I cannot help it. My sinuses are going like crazy. So, you push everything down. You want to tie your tie rope tight and you want to start pulling everything around. You want everything to be tight. You want to shove it down further. 
and you want to pull your reins. You want everything to be nice and tight. You don't want to your horse take off for some reason and you pull back and your reins just keep tightening up because you didn't do that prior. Okay. You got to try to keep everything straight too, so it's like really confusing. So I'm hoping I'm actually being somewhat helpful. So you push everything down individually from the bottom up. And just keep pulling it all down so it's nice and tight. You want to make sure your reins are tight and your tie rope is tight. I don't know I've said that before, but I'm a psycho about stuff, so I'm just going to keep telling you as I'll keep watching this. Okay. So, tie rope comes out the front and the middle. And that's what you tie to your saddle, as well as you can tie them up other places. So it's a two and one. It's a win-win, guys. I used to have a little Palomino that I broke. I wrote her in a Basel, and she did really, really well in it. And Nevada actually did well in it. Okay, so look. Tie rope. That little knotty thing. And reins. So you think you got it, right? So now I'm going to do the Fiodor because it's like a little knot. And I said, well, you know what? Why not? Let's not let's be fancy with it. So I just started cutting it and undoing it. It doesn't actually do anything. Like I did a, lot of, like a bunch of research on it when I made this video. It doesn't really have an effect. And if it does, I apologize. Just correct me. I don't know everything. I don't claim to know everything. Okay. So double checking everything again. Guys, I make some obnoxious faces. All right. Okie dokie. So yet again, I'm going to reiterate. There's the reins. There's your tie rein that comes out the front. And then your Fiodora, if that is even correct. I believe I'm saying it's correct. Bam. We got a Basel. Thanks, guys, for watching.